Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, of course, the configuration of being, and welcome back to another episode of Quabbers, back playing some more Terminal Resistance, where we last left off. We're at the shelter. Now, if you guys remember the actual movie itself, Kyle Reese was actually in the shelter, and it was attacked by an infiltrator with a minigun. So now... The infiltrator was in here and killed everyone. That's why this stranger told me to get everyone out of here. Everyone who I cared about. Make sure they all leave. Four hours. It's been four fucking hours since the Delta team and Bravo team left. Sit here from behind and everything's been quiet. Blah, blah, blah. A dog started howling and something bit their ass off. Great. I was gonna say, is there? Yeah. Just take what you can, what you can grab. Supplies, any weapons, nothing. Just, it's good enough. Damn it! I like the quartermaster. He was actually a pretty cool guy. That's all on fire. Like I said, the Terminator just went in, and just killed everybody. But everyone that I cared about already should have already left. Even Ryan and no, not Ryan. Even um. Those two people that I helped save in the beginning of the game, they left already. I didn't tell them to leave, they just wanted to leave. But, I told Aaron to leave, to go to Mexico. I got Ryan kicked out, hopefully he'll forgive me. And Patrick and Jennifer, I told them to leave as well. And they were actually a little better off without, you know. Damn it. I don't know what would have happened if I would have told anyone to stay. Like, I don't know if I'll be walking around and I'll be seeing their corpses all over the place, and I wouldn't want to see that, honestly. Baron's room. She was the one who I didn't tell her to leave, but I didn't give a shit because, you know, she told me to kill people, but... Look. Commander! Rivers. Tough as nails. You're alive! What happened here? An infiltrator got in. Brought lots of friends with him. We didn't stand a chance. Since they didn't go offline, I assume we did not destroy Skynet Central Core either? No. No, we didn't. It was an ambush. They moved it before we got there. So this is it? We lost? We lost this goddamn war? Not yet. We're still alive. What do you mean? I got the Central Core's real coordinates. You have? I've got to learn not to doubt you anymore, Rivers. <laughs> we need to call Connor. He may still be able to stop Skynet. Forget it. I couldn't get him on the radio for hours. You need to find him. You need to give him those where is, coordinates. Where is he? First, let's get you out of here. No. You don't have time for this. You have to leave me here. I can't. You're not going to disobey my final order, are you? If it Before involves leave, leaving a soldier behind, then yeah, I've I'm got not to disobey. I've got a confession to make. I hurt you. There's a reason I wasn't so keen on you from the beginning. <sighs> She's jealous. Remember that list of people Skynet marked for termination? I lied. I told you that you were number three. Two. The truth is you're number two. Just behind Connor. You took my spot. And for the life of me, I couldn't understand why. But now you do. But now I know. Yeah, I'm better than you. They're no coming. offense. You need to leave now. Well, it's not necessarily There's that I'm better than you. The command room to sneak past it's more or less that I and knew. And then find Connor and give him those coordinates. And I was protected by myself in Don't the future. <gasps> Oops, spoiler alert. That stranger, obviously, we already should know. Same fucking voice. Still have a couple magazines full of arguments. Now go. You need magazines, grenades, but you won't even survive. You'll only slow them down. And hopefully, you can help. So, there we go. Should I escape from the vents? Assholes. 
Maybe later. I'm trying to be all badass now, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, nah, I'll do another time. Just, yeah, I was gonna say, just wait for it. Oh, good, we have a skill now, so I think we could do. Yeah, craft. Craft a little bastard. There's some vents, but I don't see any other fucking vents. Yeah, the, the soundtrack in this game still definitely does, it, it still does do justice in my opinion. Motherfucker. I mean, obviously they had to just improve it just a tad bit, which is, they did, honestly, they, they, like I said, they stay true to the original, and it does, and it does seem really good. It definitely does feel very immersiveness with the actual song, it's with the music itself from the original movies, while adding more of like a modern touch to it to make it more of like an action-packed, because it's a fucking video game. So you want to feel more like... Whoa. Fucking nails. I'm tougher. Cloth and you can't even tell nor see dumbass. You know what? Hmm. Never mind, I don't have it. Thought I did. I guess I don't. Or you know what? Hmm. 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 Thinking. These are craftables. Don't don't drop them. Yeah. I was going to say, maybe I kind of want that one. For this. You know. Oh no, clip is at 50. No, 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 no. There we go. This may just overheat though, so let me, uh... Okay, let's go. Most of the flamethrower, but it really isn't to get me going. That event's too near steep through. Fucking maze with this goddamn things. I mean, I can see on the mini map in the top corner, but still, go through everywhere because there actually are some hidden items like that in that little section. And this is why we didn't kill Mac. This album would have been killed, and then we have no goddamn smart people. Yeah, you don't like it when it's done to you now, bitch. Is that it? I felt like I probably killed all the, all the Terminators and Baron had nothing to kill left. Consequences shall be dire. Well, here we go. I'm gonna leave the area and, uh... Pretty much go to the front lines. I need to find John Connor and given those coordinates, we can still stop Skynet. That's it. If this division doesn't uh, th doesn't share the same fate as mine, two divisions. Uh, 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 it was whatever division I came from, and then South Division, which is the one I just came from. Now, now I'm going to North Division. They're not going to share the same fate. That's a skeleton. 
The stranger died in that ambush trying to protect me. He came from the future to save my life, and I don't even know his identity. Uh, yes, you But do. thanks to his sacrifice, I managed to escape with the Central Core's true location. Cool. When I got back to the shelter, I realized that getting that information cost the life of many others as well. I headed out to find John Connor and his North Division to take part in the last all-out attack. All-out assault on... I'm thinking, I can't do it. I'm thinking of John Connor from um, uh, Terminator Salvation doing Christian Bale's uh, Batman voice. All-out assault on Skynet. Anyone receiving me? The this unknown. is Sergeant Jacob Rivers, DN 46890. Anyone out there? Where the hell am I going? This is where I'm going to be alone and isolated, unfortunately. Skynet got to them. Damn. Alone, isolated. No friends, no Jennifer, no Baron, huh. Ryan, Aaron. No one. If anyone's hearing this, please respond. No Tetcon team. Yeah, there's too many goddamn dead bodies. Is anyone else out there? God damn it. All we can do is just run through. Forward. Ah, this is where the game gets like too goddamn repetitive and just annoying. Closing in. Alright, we should be. Whoa, that's a trap. It's a Look, yeah, you got one. He's wearing a resistance uniform. Who did you kill to get that, you filthy machine? No, don't! No! Wait, he's human! <laughs> a few hours later. Sorry finally. about that, Sergeant. The infiltrators took some of our key positions, so we're extra cautious. Hmm. We'd known that you were joining us in the North Division. That would have never happened. You know who I am. We all do, Sergeant Rivers. John Connor told us about you. He said you'd come and bring those coordinates. How do you know I'd have them? That you'll have to ask him yourself. He's waiting for you upstairs. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to meet the Jonathan Connor of the Resistance of Tetcom. Guys are fully tactically prepared. Those are shit. That's him. The one Connor's been talking about. Sergeant. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Jonathan Connor. Commander. Scars on everything. Sergeant Rivers. They definitely tried making it more canon. You. Making him look the more like how he's supposed to look like in um, Terminator 2. I hope you don't mind. In the future. N not at all. Are we preparing to attack the core? I've sent a unit to do that. We're getting ready to strike the time displacement equipment. Very soon Skynet will realize that they're losing this war. So they'll try to send infiltrators back in time to prevent that from happening. <laughs> do we stand a chance? Thanks to the security codes that Mac provided, we've been able to seize control of an HK tank for the first time. It should give us the advantage. And this is why I, I let Mac live. We'll smash it once and for all. I understand that all this might be confusing to you, so if you have any questions, now's the time to ask them. Okay. How did you know that the Understanding that... So when I learned from a mutual friend of ours that a Terminator with... What do you mean? When that infiltrator can... They had to... Unfor who is the stranger? In one alternative future, we reached the time displacement equipment and set, like always, the mission was to assure the safety of the one of whom was you. Knowing the importance of your mission, many volunteers. See, the stranger was me, so obviously. I upon myself to choose a protector from among them, and the one I chose was you. You 
by the one you call stranger. Why am I targeted for termination? You are the one who discovered the true location of the central core. Hmm. I'm sure. It but we already knew that 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 stranger was me. I mean, the the voice actor was pretty much the fucking same. Like all he did was just t tone his voice down to sound like this, so you won't actually know that it's actually me. Oh, whoops, he does. Like the fuck, you're not really, you're not fooling anyone. So John Connor anticipated everything that that that's happened. He knew that Skynet would try to deceive us, and had faith that I'd bring him those coordinates. The name Connor was always syn synonymous, and hope that now that I know why, I have faith that he will lead us through the final battle. Okay, so I think this is the fi final battle. So remember in the Terminator 2, Judgment Day, at the very beginning of the movie, when we first see John Connor, he was walking through a pathway, like in a basement like this. I'm pretty sure this is the basement, but could be mistaken. Take whatever you need, Sergeant. Medical kits. Plasma rifles. I need ammunition. Health packs. Grenades. Lots of grenades. Gonna need more grenades. So those are the ones that are gonna help us out uh, in this battle. Oh, I own 61 of those. So, you know, how much do I own of that? Okay, that's enough. So, you know what? So, fuck those little... little bombs. I'm gonna use that. Keep those. I think we're good. All right, Jonathan, you ready? Let's do that famous walk well, that you did in that movie. Time. I want you to take a team of my soldiers and fight your way to Skynet's defense grid. We have to destroy those turrets. Don't worry, we'll provide the support. Follow me. So here. Uh, wait, is it? Hang on, we're gonna find out. Yeah. Th so they had to make it more cinematic. So can't skip it so in the uh, yeah in the movie it's legit this is how the camera angle is Commander. so yeah Commander. Th there you go and there were supposed to be like people that were like injured and they uh they were injured and they were still like oh nope nope he's there how you doing hey he took someone's binoculars and he came up here and then he uh when he came up there then he was looking through the binoculars that was the beginning of terminator 2 and that's what they're paying homage to the actual movie itself and there's the central core. See, they're paying homage to the actual movie, which is really cool. Again, highly recommend watching the movie if you guys haven't seen it. Here we go. Final battle. So this actually might be the final episode, ladies and gentlemen. I got one thing. We only have three of those. We have 63 of these. Let's go, motherfucker. Come on. And stop shooting at each other. Um, did you just go through a laser grid? You're a Terminator, motherfucker! Yeah, I got one, I, yeah, I got a minigun too. I don't like the way I think of you. Push 
Now this is the laser gun fight that you all wanted, you wanted to see. gun because another sector clear I feel like I'm definitely burning through my ammunition a little bit too too much you gotta keep going Ariel down it perfect timing nice there we go T47 ahead two of them sergeant I got a visual on the defense grid turrets. Not supposed to be Wi-Fi we hack them turrets. But it does burn through the ammunition too fast. The defense grid was smashed. We won. Killing Connor now made no goddamn difference. Check your fire. That tank is ours. Nice. Oh, even with this music and everything playing in the background while you're actually going through a laser fight, oh, you feel somewhat invincible. But it's like it's a, it's a it's definitely got some euphoria like, going in right now. And, Cause I'm a big fucking tornado fan, so this is definitely like my somewhat of a wet dream here. Not really. But you know what I mean, like something like this is not a dream, this is a fucking nightmare. I wouldn't want this to happen, but like, now that I'm able to like simulate it or, or, or something like that, yeah, it's it's definitely something that's like is really cool. Sending is just one by one. Canister bomb. Come on. Smash through the defense grid with an HK tank support. Everyone, on me! Yeah, they're gonna lose this war no matter what. 
whether it's tonight or in the past or the future. This is it! That's this is the, the lab they stuff. keep the time displacement thing! Spread out! Master Bomb. Not the one more. Still did nothing. Yeah, they were, they were saying they were all, all the Terminators were sent in at once. They all shut down. Better friend's grid was smashed. Now the central core has been destroyed. We won the war now. No more Terminators. Now they're all dropping like farms. Oh, that could have killed us. We won! And HK just fucking couldn't detonate us. Damn. That's it, we won the war. The well, Terminators are dead. Because Skynet is dead. But... They did manage to send the Terminators back through. Commander, what's going on? The 124 destroyed the central core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the core... Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. The only thing in our power now is to send the Protectors to meet them. Protectors? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. Oh, the third Terminator was the not protector the TX. has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. A single prototype, created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator It's possible to own. kill it, you know, a human being, but you he was right, a single CPU human being. Matt, you just have to know how to kill it. I do. Do you want to send a Terminator to protect you younger self? Won't you be afraid? I will be. Then... There's the matter of the infiltrator that we sent after you. The war can end for you right now, but the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your future to protect your past? By being here, 
You've already proven that this is not beyond your capabilities. And I'll leave the decision up to you. Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You do have the power to change it, and protect the ones you care about. So, what will it be then? Alright, so here's the thing. Wait, I don't know if I can... I can't save. Here's the thing. So either I can say, I'm not gonna go. But realistically, I have to go, because if I don't go... I mean, he's gonna... If I say I don't, I'm not gonna go, I'll live out my whole entire life and doing whatever I want to do, and he'll send someone else. But we already know that I already went through, and to protect myself. But I died. But I know that I can change it. So... I'll do it. I'm gonna go back. I'll go back. Let's hope I don't get... Yeah, yeah I won't get begin. killed this time. So, I'm gonna... Sh there's two... There's kind of... Kind of two endings, but realistically, there's probably two endings that can go in, that can go into one, and I'm gonna try to show it to you guys. Just give me a minute. I'm gonna go. We're gonna John go through Connor it. prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man <laughs> to go back. To no, they just they just showed it like the way how it was His in the movie. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor. John's mother. <laughs> the second one was not a man, but a Terminator. <laughs> Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control yep. of a single infiltrator unit, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995 to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. And? The th the third protector? I couldn't have someone risk their life to protect me. That's why I decided to go myself. It gave me a chance to right the wrongs of my actions. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Now we got, I think we're going to see everyone's story. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. <laughs> but not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. That's upsetting. I lied to Aaron about her husband to make her leave the shelter. I saved her life. But at what cost? Was it my place to intervene and give her false hope? I don't know. So that's why I'm a little skeptic. Ryan... Ryan was kicked out of the shelter because of me. But... I hope that one day I will have a chance to explain to him why I did that. Yeah, he still survived. Now... Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I hope that our paths will cross sometime soon. Okay, so let's hold that thought that our hope that hope that our paths will cross Baron again soon. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. Shit. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. Oh. Hopefully, you know, shit was okay. Not secrets were like sold or anything like that. I don't know. It was time, it's to, time st to start over. Hit the reset button and let's not get killed this time. And there we are. How the game started. There's my past self. Well, the be the beginning of the game self. Listen to me if you want to live. <laughs> See, the the voice is just so stupid. I think I could disguise him. I think he won't realize that it's me actually. I think I'm stupid enough to not know that this is my voice. Okay, so like I said, hold that thought on like on thinking like our paths cross. So let's hypothetically say that that's what actually happened. That I went. Wait, hang on. Yeah, that I went. That I told John Connor. Yeah, sure. I'll go into the past. I'll go back to the past and help myself yet again. But this time, let's hope that I don't get myself killed. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, so I have to 
fast forward this. But there's no fast forward Commander, button. What's the, so is the war over? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked damn it, for termination. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. The first damn. protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the TA yes, we that's know. targeting my mother as we speak. Oh my By god, he'll be sent back in 1984. Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? Terminator made, made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. child. A single, a single prototype, prototype created, by, created Skynet. by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. So we'll That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac would program? I do. Then there we go. Will I, I'll do it. <gasps> no! 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 I don't want to do it! Damn it! Wait, um... Shit, I think I fucked up. Because that's what happens when I like try to, like, you know... You know, I speed... <laughs> try again. Just minus the fuck up. And we're going to have to hear all this again. I apologize. Hopefully I won't do it this time, which I probably will probably fuck up again. The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. Yes, we know. Kyle the Reese, which is your has to be father! Kyle Reese. Yeah. He'll Spoiler go alert. after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. Uh, I'm not paying attention. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. Ah, oh, they just constantly fucking talk. T-1000? A Terminator what a T-1000? I mean, God. Sent back to kill me as a child. There's also a T-1 million, which is basically created by a Skynet. big Diamundo version it's of the T-1000. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac would program? I do. I will. Then is I'll leave. Will I be able to? I always. You do. Okay, so let's pretend that I do say that I'm not gonna go. That I am gonna go back, but I'm not gonna go back. Don't want to go. I cannot judge you. You've seen yourself die once, and that's probably once too many. There are volunteers that will gladly take your place. Okay, but like I said, realistically, he said I'll go. So let's pretend this. Here's the story. I went, and this time I actually did survive. What do I do? John My Connor future self... The time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. I don't know. I don't want to skip this. Like, if I hit enter, it's going to skip everything. I don't want to do that, so... A resistance We're gonna have to watch this was the paintings first man to and everything. Back to 1984, his objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. <sighs> the second one was not a man, but a Terminator. Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995, 1995 and just set the Soul 1 T-1000 prototype and protect prototype young John Connor. Next? Young John Connor. See, I'm much faster than you, motherfucker. Let's go. <sighs> I've decided not to go, go back, back in time. Plenty of volunteers want to take my place. John Connor chose a man from amongst them. I only hope John that he does Connor a better job a than I did. Them. I only hope that he does a better job than I did. All right, let's, like I said, what, what really happens, I do go back in time. After 30 years, this war, war against, against the machines, the machines is finally over, but over. all of us who live to see the but not all of us live to see the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. We never found Our Baron's body, body in the shelter. She still ever stopped fighting. She, she was still, still fighting. So alive, I doubt she'll ever really well. She was she a leader will. that we needed in the war time, the but I'm not sure she'll find a place during this time of peace. I'm not sure she'll find a place during this time of peace. Yes, I know you need to make it very cinematic with the voice, but I'm not sure she'll find a place. In this I lied place. to Aaron about her husband to make her leave the shelter. Aaron's alive and has I hope. saved her life. But at what cost? But it's false. Was it my place to intervene and give her false hope? Ryan was kicked out of the shelter because Ryan's alive and he's I driving people around. Day, I will have a chance to explain to him. I don't know if there was another way that we could have done that, but I don't know. Whatever. 
Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I I'm hope glad that our I paths will cross sometime soon. Once again, I hold that, that thought. Paths will cross sometime soon. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive, alive in one of Skynet's Skynet prisons. Prison. Is that it? I don't remember, honestly. Too many painting me. panels. Yeah. It was time to start over. So like I said, let's pretend that we went back in time, uh, we saved ourselves, and we didn't get killed. So what do we do afterwards we didn't get killed? Like after that attack at the Central Core Falls place, we just walk off to a sunset and we find Jennifer and Patrick. And that's what actually would happen. So I would go back in time and just basically just tr travel the course. And then once we finally split this, once, once my past and future self split, once my past self and my present self split off, he had to go back in time and do the whole entire thing all over again. I just continued off where he was supposed to from right there and find Jennifer and Patrick. Did everybody understand that? No? I'll do it all over again. You start from the beginning of the game. You're being talked to your future self. You travel together to a point where, oh, he gets killed and you have to, and you go off into the, you go off and then you have to go and then you, then you go off then you go back in time. But you're this guy now, and you're protecting your other self. But this time, he goes back to the he goes back to the past. But you continue off, and you find Jennifer and Patrick, and etc. etc. Because this time you actually lived. Now do you understand? Too bad, because I think it's perfect. Anyway, so what to do? And the game? No, there is more to play, ladies and gentlemen. The Infiltrator, which we will play next time on the cooperators. We'll see you next time. We're gonna reach from stars tonight.